Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. It's been a long time since I posted and the reason being we moved to Colorado finally we're here look at this gorgeous scenery around me I'm so excited to be here and overall I just feel so much happier already being in a place like this I have beautiful roads ahead of me and right now I'm heading out to a uh, trail so it's supposed to be a very easy trail I just want to get my feet wet and you know start exploring things around me so that's exactly what we're gonna do moving down here by the way that by itself was one heck of a journey I mean it took three days first of all and we I put I hooked up a U-Haul trailer to this truck uh, which went fine, everything went fine with that. We had to throw away a lot of stuff because uh, we didn't have uh, as much space as we thought we would. The bed was completely full as well and we had the farm with us as well. So Lindsay drove the Tesla up here from Florida to Colorado and I, I think I might do a separate video on that. It wasn't actually as bad as we would ex we expected it to be driving the Tesla up here with the charging stops and so on. Everything went really smoothly. Look at all these open fields in Kansas. We're doing a double refill, so we're charging up the Tesla and we're charging up, filling up the Ram. One takes a little longer than the other, obviously, but it's fine. I'm enjoying the weather out here. But she did get a flat tire in, I think, it, I believe it was in Georgia because we had just gotten, I had gotten gas, she had charged up the Tesla and I took off and I said, I told her you're gonna catch up to me eventually so I'm just gonna go now because I had a trailer, everything was set to go and she was trying to catch up to me and of course she gets pulled over <laughs> and I think when she pulled over to the, to the side of the road, to the side of the highway, she might, she, she got a big nail in the rear tire. Uh, so that was a problem all the way up here. We bought a uh, one of those tire patch kits on a Walmart in the middle of the night in Georgia and I was fixing it down in the parking lot there. Uh, it worked fine up until about Kentucky when it started to really slowly leak again. So we had to stop. I had the compressor with me. So we had to stop and fill it up maybe every three hours or so. So it took five minutes to fill it up. It wasn't a big deal. But that problem has been taken care of now and now we're just we, we've been here for we, we came here on Monday and it's Friday today and I am just blown away by this state so far I knew I was gonna like it I've been here before but not not in this area specifically but it's it's just stunning this area of Colorado it's very flat we came from uh, Kansas going into Colorado. So going from Kansas probably one of the most boring states to drive through but uh, we did it and uh, we, it, it was uh, one heck of a road trip. Uh, definitely you know when you have some struggles in uh, in your in your trips that makes it more memorable. I, I, I don't really stress about things like that when things go a little sideways. I know it's always gonna work out and it did this time too. It's just some fun memories to have. So I'm excited to go and check out this trail and show you what my first official Colorado off-road, it's a one out of 10 by the way, so it's a, probably just a gravel road, but my first official off-road trail uh, is going to look like. We have 18 miles to go in this on this beautiful road right here, so I'm not complaining. I could go forever on this road and then we're supposed to be at the trailhead, so I'll keep you posted. Got off the main road about, uh, I would say, six or so miles ago, and now we're in, I don't know where we are, but it's absolutely stunning out here, as you can see. We got 6.8 miles to go to the trailhead. It's called Red Skin Creek Road. The creek, as you can see, just beautiful out here. And these roads, these are the type of roads that I wanted in Florida, as I talked about so many times. A little bit of curvature, a little bit of elevation. Of course, I understand you can't get that in Florida, but I missed it so much. And it's so much more enjoyable to drive on roads like this, and specifically with this gorgeous scenery around us.
All right, guys, so we're at the trail right now, and it looks like this. It's a pretty much a dirt road all the way, so not very challenging if you want an off-road experience, but uh, there were campsites all, ac all scattered ac across this entire trail. I've probably passed about 20, 25, 30 of them right now. So what I'm gonna do is just, I'm gonna continue here and see where this leads, and then I'm gonna come back here and camp with my tent i can't wait to do that before probably before winter comes but uh, it's pretty bumpy at some point so i'm taking it easy and just enjoying the ride so far pretty far into the trail right now so uh, i guess we're gonna find out where it goes Guys, we're still on the trail and it's been a while I'm pretty deep in now and the thing is I have don't have any reception so what I think I'm gonna do uh, just to play it safe is to turn around I maybe have an hour and a half back out to the main road and uh, it's been fun it's been a fun first experience of Colorado uh, trails like this and of course more to come here on this channel it's been a fun day today but it's time to head back home Guys, maybe we're heading to Castle Rock, so there's supposed to be a Overland Expo there with some meetings. Probably mostly Toyotas is what I've heard, so I'm gonna go there with the Ram and uh, check out the different cool vehicles out there. I've seen so many trucks and SUVs out here with tents on the roof. I never saw that in Florida, so it's really cool to see that. Obviously, it's a lot more camping opportunities here. It's 48 degrees right now but it says it's gonna go up to 78 today so hopefully it's gonna warm up a little bit but I don't really care as long as the Sun is out like this I'm all happy so let's head down there we got 22 minutes to go and uh, let's see what they got down there there is the rock right, castle and here is castle rock we're out here overlanding stuff and one of my subscribers is here with his beautiful forerunner looks great in this blue you said not a lot of people get this color, but I'm a huge fan of it. I love the wheels too, some color splashes on the wheels. Just some simple modifications, that's all you need. Not sure when they're gonna release a new one. I think next year they might be showing off the new one. It might be, it might end up being a 2024. Okay. Uh, I'm not totally sure though. It's been around for a while, it's still selling. Why not just keep going? It's always a gorgeous day. Started out at 48 degrees. I was out 6.30 in the morning to wash my truck, but now it's, I would say, 65, 70, something like that. Beautiful. A lot of Forerunners, a lot of Tacomas. Nice Gladiator there. It looks like 35s, 37s probably. More Tacomas. Have you ever thought about getting a full light bar like this in the grill? I plan to actually for my roof. Amber light bar. Never seen that before. These are aftermarket, right? Yes. Yeah, they're called Raptor lights. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> That's where it started. An older Tacoma. Got a Tundra. That's a Lexus. Sweet. I like the front bumper of this. And over here, another Lexus. I love these vintage Lexuses. Maybe 20, 20 years old, something like that, but still looks very, very cool. Specifically with these big, massive tires. These can go for 400,000 miles. Just have to do the like that, yeah. <laughs> service on them. And all the way in the back, Mr. Rami right here. Tried to clean it this morning, but uh, these bugs are basically in the paint. And that's my first Colorado video in the book. Not much of uh, heavy trailing and off-roading today. Just wanted to check out uh, the first trail ever here in Colorado and I still had a lot of fun doing it. More to come. I'm gonna do some overlanding stuff and I'm going to be exploring this entire area of the United States here on this channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.